Hello guys, this is Farjana. Welcome to my Elementor Pro series tutorial. In this series of tutorial, I will try to explain all necessary widgets and features of Elementor Pro. So if you still did not get Elementor Pro, I will leave the link in my description. So from there, you can get your Elementor Pro. Alright, in today's video, I will show you all about Elementor Pro Gallery Elements. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm taking a new section. Here I'm taking a full column structure. And here I'm going again here and scroll down and taking the gallery elements. And here type, so here is two types of gallery structure. One is for single and one is for multiple. So from here we can create single gallery or we can also create multiple gallery so first let's go with the single one and for this one here is image select option so i'm going to select some images and here i'm taking some image create new gallery insert gallery here is showing images we can also add more to image and add to gallery okay so now it's looking good and then order by we can make it to random or default and here is lazy load option you can also make it enable or not okay by default i am enabling this so it will not affect the page loading speed then layout structure by default this is grid we can make it to justified like this way or we can make it to masonry so this is looking like this so when we upload more images it will look very cool and here is column so by default this is four we can make it to three or anything and spacing we can also change the spacing between the images then here is link so from here by default here is media file so now if we click any image we can see here is a pop-up and from here we can find different options like share image and here is zoom icon and here is the full screen mode so by default it will show the pop-up and here if we want to add any specific link with our images for example here we can add any custom url with our image so by default this is media file i'm leaving it as it is and then here is overlay options so when we hover over any image we can see here is a light dark overlay so we can make it on or off from here then here is title and description so when we hover over we can show the image title and description so here is title and now if we hover over we can see here is the image title showing so here by default is showing the image title name from image so if we want to show the title that case we can go to the e specific image and from there we have to change the title as per our need so for example if we want to change this image title working v1 to a specific text so for that again i have to go there going here and here is the title so here we can set a specific title for this image for example i am typing new title and insert gallery and now if we hover over we can see it's showing the new title so in the similar way we can also use this gallery module for showing our portfolio so we can add some title for our project and we can also add any custom url with this image so this module can be used as gallery or even we can use this for our portfolio and then if we check the another one for multiple so here we can create multiple galleries so for the first one new gallery in the similar way i'm going to upload some images insert gallery 
and here I'm adding another gallery so this is two and here I'm also uploading some images okay and here I'm changing the new gallery to one and the cool part is here is this gallery is filterable so when we click on one it will show only for this gallery image and when you click on two it will show only the images for gallery 2 and here is all so this time by default we can see all images and in the similar way for this type of gallery here is ordered by lazy load masonry so from here we can also change all this and I already show you how we can change this so these are almost same for this gallery type and then here is filter bar so by default it will show the all so we can make it off if we don't want to show all and here is pointer okay so I'm making it on then overlay option it's also same here and then finally I'm going to style tab so for style tab we can also styling our images so from here we can add border and here is border width border radius I'm leaving it as it is then overlay so from here you can also change the overlay color to a different color and also we can add some transparency and here is blend mode we can change the mode for this overlay and animation duration so we can also change the animation for hover effect then for content so from here we can also change the content style for example title or description if we add some text so for that we can also change the text alignment for example this one vertical position padding and from here we can also customize the text style for title and also if we enable the description so there will be also available the description font style and then finally here is the filter bar so this will work for this filter item so we can also customize the filter text color to this and here is hover effect for filter text so we can also change the hover color and here is space between so we can also change the spacing between each item and gap we can also change the gap and here is text alignment also this is for active so we can also change some active color for example for this one and also in the similar way we can change the typography for this text and also the alignment and here is some hover effect for hover text so from here we can add some hover effect like zoom or here is shrink so here is some cool effect we can try one by one then slide from right okay so all is very cool options and here is also animation duration we can also set it from here and finally in the similar way here is advanced option so from here we can add some advanced customization for this gallery tab and finally save changes okay so here is all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial